Jason Ellis told us Theo Vaughn was going to expose Colin Thompson and Cast Media. He has now officially done that on his podcast. But during that, he revealed why he stopped working with Brendan Schaub and left The King and the Sting. So I'm going to play that and give you my thoughts on it. Let's go ahead and check it out. And I'll just tell you guys what happened. Um, we had a deal with this company, right? And, and it was started off good. And then it started to get where we were getting less of our payments. And we were reading the ads. We do the ads. You know, we read them out loud. And we and, and you guys support some of them. And thank you. Um, and then it got to be where we were getting paid less of the payment we were owed. And they sell all the ads a year in advance. So you're kind of stuck into the year, right? And the advertisers were paying Colin Thompson and Cast Media, and they weren't paying us. They would pay us a little bit, and they had a reason why. And So and one of the craziest parts was like there was like we kept asking, you know, hey, we have to get paid, man. We have to get – and we weren't getting paid. And so finally I was able to make a new deal um, and just cut ties completely. I made sure that everything – you know, they breached our contract, and so I was able to cut ties. And then they come along – Colin Thompson comes along and he joins. Okay. So he goes on to expose him more. Like I said, we've pretty much known this story from originally Jim Cornette, then Jason Ellis. Um, to give you the whole, and Theo was going to go through it all. Basically Colin Thompson ripped them off him specifically and Brendan Schaub of 1.4 million. Others of a lot more others for a lot less. Now they're trying to form this new company and promising them half a million dollars and stock in their upcoming podcast company when it goes public. But I find it interesting. This is the reason why Theo Vaughn left the King and the Sting podcast to get out of that deal. And of course... Brennan Schaub stayed and signed on. So um, you will not be hearing any calling out of Colin Thompson from Brendan Schaub. He's the one who stayed and took that deal of the half a million dollars up front and the rest in stock options. And Theo was like, I'm sure it was an internal struggle of Theo saying, hey, let's go get a new deal. This guy is ripping, off, ripping us off and Brendan Schaub going, no, he has to pay us our money because I'm suing a YouTuber and I wasted all my dad's money doing it and I'm going broke. So this is the reason why Theo left Schaub. I'm sure Schaub's an idiot and all that other stuff too, but this is the main reason. And now Schaub stayed with Cast Media, who is, uh, what, Live One now or something? And took that crappy deal, and now, so Jim Cornette's calling out Colin Thompson, Jason Ellis, now Theo Vaughn. Jason Ellis let us know Theo Vaughn was going to do it. And Schaub works for Colin Thompson. Schaub took the deal. And that's why Theo left. Oh, my God. What is that idiot doing? By the way, look at this Colin Thompson guy. What do, <laughs> did that do? Jared Leto in Fight Club hair? What? <laughs> is it the dude who ripped these guys off? I'm guessing the deal they had was an ad read deal, but that was just Jim Cornette's deal. Um, Shab and Theo had a bigger deal with Cast Media where it was the ad stuff. And that's what they're claiming they're not getting paid for. But Cast One would also do production and promise you'd be part of a network, which is the deal Shab is part of now that he signed on to. And Theo was like, screw that. But Theo doesn't need the money like Shab does because Theo isn't suing YouTubers for making fun of him. But... Yeah, so Theo got himself completely out of that situation. That's the reason why he no longer works with Shab, this whole cast media thing. 
you know, when Mark Hurley first said this, first he said um, Shab complained that his agent ripped him off, but then he figured out that it, Shab actually meant cast media after the Jim Cornette thing. But this was the reason why Theo left, because he was like, instead of waiting around for these people who obviously ripped us off, I'll just go get a new deal. And Shab was like, I got to wait around. I got to do it. I got to do a show with Dalia and Eric Griffin. And now Theo's gone. He blew up. Everyone who leaves Shab, their career gets better. Chappelle Lacey, Kat, Theo. <laughs> the second you get away from this idiot, your career blows up. But this dummy stayed on and signed the new deal. So Shab will receive, well, the offer, according to Jim Cornette, was half a million dollars in stock in a failed company that already has a $10 million lawsuit against it. <laughs> but and a $10 million lawsuit, I mean, they a judgment against it, which they claim they can't pay, yet they're giving out stock in their upcoming company. Very odd, very bizarre, v- very weird, this whole situation. Like I said, I find it interesting. This was... The reason why Theo left Shab and stopped working on King of the Sting because this Colin Thompson dude ripped him off $1.4 million and he was like, all right, well, we're not going to keep working with them. we got to go get a new deal. And Shab was like, no, we'll keep working with them. And Theo was like, all right, Shab, see you later. Have fun with that and Delia and Callan. But um, yeah, just hilarious to me. But uh, overall, though, when Theo, like I said, go check this out on Theo's channel. This went on for 10 minutes. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. And he did expose this Colin Thompson dude. Like I said, if you've been paying attention to the story, you know all the specifics. And Theo just hit all those specifics. But uh, then, damn, this Colin Thompson dude ripped off a bunch of people. And only one idiot signed on and will continue to work with him. And that is Brendan Shaw. (laughs) But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments.